Okay, um, this is a little tutorial video on um, images in uh, Smart Notebook, and I'll talk a little bit about PowerPoint as well because I, I feel like it's getting left out. At any rate, um, the thing I want to talk about is um, a neat little tool in, in Smart Notebook, and it is also available now in PowerPoint as well, uh, that allows you to uh, customize pictures in a certain way. Obviously, any picture that we paste in, we can we can resize, we can move around, we can do those kinds of things. But there's another uh, neat tool uh, available to you in Smart Notebook, so I'm going to look at that for a little bit. To do that, I want a specific image, so I I looked up um, pictures of basketballs. You'll see uh, why I'm saying that in a few seconds. So, so I'm going to look at this one. This is uh, a nice uh, looks like a, a good size uh, basketball. I'm going to copy the image. And then I'm going to go back to my smart notebook and I'm going to paste that image in. And when I paste that image in, um, you may notice that um, the edges of the image come in as white. Um, that's because the picture is has the background, right? So it's it's a rectangular shape just because the basketball is around uh, the picture is still rectangular so um, I don't like this white box when uh, on my smart board screen when specifically especially when I have a, a dark background uh, then it looks pretty pretty goofy so there's a way around it uh, if I click the pull down arrow or if I right click on the uh, image there's a set image transparency link in the middle if I click on that I get a little eyedropper and I can click any of these regions of the picture but what I want to make transparent is the white space uh, around the edge and you'll notice I have to do it in all of the spaces uh, around the edge once I've done that I click OK and now I see that my basketball is now round um, so uh, that's a pretty neat neat way to um, be able to make um, a round image actually appear round in your your smart notebook Obviously, it could be used for other uh, other issues as well. If you've got like a, a little Scooby-Doo character and uh, he's got a white background around him, or she does, uh, you could use the same tool to uh, make it so that it's just that Scooby-Doo character. So, I'm not sure why I went to Scooby-Doo. Same kind of thing can happen in PowerPoint, specifically if you've got a um, dark background. So, if I paste uh, this basketball, same basketball picture in, I've got the same issue on this dark background. So, if I go to the Picture Tools Format, and I go to, um, uh, let me see, different place here, color, and down at the bottom, set transparent color. I can click in the corners, and you can see uh, it makes the white in the corners transparent. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like it didn't do a great job. It probably has to do with the um, uh, specific, um, this may, uh, this around this edge here may not actually be. Uh, full on white, there could be a shadow there. So I could look for another picture and show you the same thing again, but basically it works um, whether or not you want to believe it. So um, that's it. Again, uh, I use that tool a lot in Smart Notebook, um, especially when I have something that comes in in that um, rectangular shape that isn't uh, meant to be rectangular. I don't want it to look rectangular on my background. Um, after I've done that, I can still resize and do all those kinds of things as well. So that's the uh, Again, just a neat tool or a tool I feel is neat and smart. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.